Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Lizette Hofman. I'm the executive editor of Acta Teloika, a journal managed by the Faculty of Theology and Religion at the University of the Free State in South Africa. We recently had a special issue published. It is an issue on theological education. And I ask the guest editors, Bernard Ott and Volker Kessler, to tell us a bit more about this. Volker Kessler is the dean of Gesellschaft für um, Theology. Could you just hold on? We always tell the people in church to please put their phones on silent. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just start again. Um, Volker, welcome to you. You're the Dean of the Gesellschaft for Building und Forschung in Europa. And you are from Germany. Where in Germany are you? Um, it's near to Cologne. You see, Cologne is a very old city and with a big cathedral and our town is close to Cologne. Okay, and then Bernard Ott, he is a supervisor for doctoral research at the European School of uh, Culture and Theology. Bernard, you're in Switzerland. Where in Switzerland are you? I live in the Basel region, which is right at the French and German border. Okay, okay, thank you very much. I'm glad that we can at the north and the south meet this afternoon here on the internet. Um, I just want to ask you a bit more about this interesting project. Uh, Volker, what led to the publication of this special issue, Integrating Theory and Practice, a Challenge in Theological Education? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I have to speak about a bit about the background. The GBFE is a network of 13 colleges. And we are working, they're all located in Europe, from Russia to Norway, Denmark, Germany, Switzerland, Austria. And we have been cooperating with the South African University since the year 2000. So last year, we wanted to celebrate that uh, cooperation, that anniversary, and we started and we thought it, the good, good idea would be to have a conference about integrating theory and practice, because that's actually the topic we are interested in, and our students always have to think about it. How do they integrate theory and practice? So the conference took place last year, not in the way as we intended to, because it had to be a hybrid conference, so the people from Europe could come, or at least for the people from Central Europe, or people from South Africa, uh, they were present at the university, at, at the conference, but only in the digital format. And so we had a, actually that was the first conference um, I was responsible for, which worked as a hybrid conference. Okay, thank you very much, Volker. Yeah, there was much challenges globally due to all the changes uh, during yeah. COVID. Uh, Bernard, why is integrating theory and practice an issue in theological education? I mean, first of all, thank you for giving us a chance to, to talk about this. Uh, in a certain way, it's not, for me, it's not just a topic out there. It's, it's, it's my life. How can you integrate thinking, reflecting theologically, with, with life, with work, with church work, and even beyond. And with this conference and now the publication, we, in a certain way, we, we participate in a larger global conversation. Uh, I mean, it's not a secret that uh, purely academic theological education is, is in a crisis. If it's, if it's just kind of theological theory in an ivory tower, uh, no one cares. It's, it, it has lost its its relevance, as uh, Miroslav Wolf just recently said in his book on, on the crisis of theological education. So what, what do we contribute to life, the life of the church, to, 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 to the life of society? Uh, how do we relate our theological thinking to what is really happening on the street, in the villages, uh, with people? And of course, in our case, you know, with GBFE, um, I browsed to the last 20 years about 250 masters and doctoral research papers, thesis, dissertations, almost all of them um, did 
work on practical issues. These are reflective practitioners. They come out of practice in churches, in missions, but beyond in business, in leadership, in development studies. And they want to reflect theologically on what they are doing. But we have realized over the years, this is very challenging because people have very different understandings how they would relate theory and practice. And over the years, we, we struggled with students in supervising them and so on. And it was our desire to really bring together a group of uh, competent people they could talk about this. And, and there's a series of issues come up immediately. Uh, how do you relate theory and practice? Where do you start with theory or with practice? Uh, is this this kind of top down, first you define your theory, then you go into practice, or is this kind of a circle, so a circle of view? And I mean, over the last 40 years, this has developed tremendously, bringing empirical research into, in, into theological studies. How do practical theology, the discipline of practical theology relate to the other disciplines? Um, can you just outsource praxis to practical theology? What are the epistemological issues behind it? Uh, to generate knowledge. How does scripture, the Bible, um, as a normative document in the Christian tradition relate to the context? Well, what is contextualization and contextual theology? I mean, all these issues are on the table. And we invited people from different disciplines and working in different ways with Bible and context to articulate issues, to look at issues from a variety of perspectives in order to contribute to this larger conversation, which is a global conversation. Uh, in all areas of theological education. And of course, for us as GBFE, having worked with students for 20 years, it was kind of a stop reflecting, what are we doing, where could we improve? And we want to let other people participate in this conversation. I think, as you said, that's a very important conversation and it's, it's of global importance. Um, could you give a broad overview of the kind of articles um, that is in this specific issue. Yeah, I mean, we asked people to contribute to, uh, to several areas, and I can summarize this maybe now. We have uh, two papers are written by biblical scholars, so they are looking at it from a biblical perspective. Um, <clears throat> we have three or four papers, they come from the leadership perspective. So these are people involved in church leadership and beyond in, in leadership and looking from a leadership perspective. We have several papers looking from practical theology perspective, for instance, from a musician about uh, music education in pastoral theology perspective. Um, we have missiological perspectives, um, development study perspective, and one comes from a ecumenical systematic theological perspective. So from different disciplines, we are looking at the same topic. How do we relate? or empirical research or research or theological thinking to the praxis of life, people in business, in the world, in the church. It goes beyond pure ministerial praxis in the church, looking at the broader picture. And of course, there are, there are something like key issues. How do you relate theory and practice? And I look in, in my introduction um, at the conversation with students. How do we supervise students in the process when they start doing research relating theory to practice? Because it's a challenging task for supervisors. And uh, after the 20 years, it was a good moment just to to stop and to think and to say, what are we actually doing? How do we people help to become reflective practitioners in the best sense of the word? So you will find in this uh, volume many perspectives looking from the different disciplines to this one issue, integrating theory and practice. Yes, Baron, I remember in proofreading this edition, the interesting wide variety, there was an article from the Salvation Army, one on, on church music, and on acts, and there's two German articles as well, and then the rest are in English, but there's some uh, English abstract to the German articles, but uh, I know there are also many people who are anyway fluent in German who can read it. So I really enjoyed this um, 
this journal with different perspectives, but on this one theme of theory and practice. Uh, Volker, who do you think will find this uh, specific special issue interesting and stimulating? Well, just let me say one word before. I grew up in the German system, so I, I first studied with the German university. And as you know, Germany is they are very proud about their academic standard, but they often have no contact to the praxis. And that's why I actually I love with, uh, with working together with South African universities. They are often the professors, uh, especially the professor of theology, they are involved in the church work. So that's what we like about that cooperation with South Africa. They would ask different questions when our, and, uh, and that's challenging for us. And that's good. So, and uh, you see, if, if you look at the authors who contributed to that uh, special issue, they are all from a praxis. They all uh, are involved in teaching and they know the challenges, how to teach theory, uh, how can you connect theory and practice? So for example, in my context, I'm involved in leadership education. And leaders, leaders are often very pragmatic. So they do not like theory. They want to have a, a, a quick solution for the problem. So how do you teach theory to people who do not want to have theory, who regard theory as useless? And these are the challenges uh, which we try to address in, in the special issue. And I think it's worth reading it. OK, thank you very much. So I really think that people are involved in theological education but also uh, pastors and students, theology students, uh, I think will find this very a very useful edition. And I hope that some lecturers prescribe this whole edition to, to the uh, students. The edition is available um, freely online. Um, and I'm going to post the, the link there. You can just search for Acta Theologica. And then you are welcome to download. It's freely available online. I would like to thank Sun Media, who did the printing and the layout. Uh, we work with Sun Media with our journals at the University of the Free State. Um, and uh, I want to thank them for the beautiful layout that they did. And uh, you can find the edition online freely. And then also hard copies is available also that can be ordered from, from Sun Media. So I think at this stage, I want to thank Bernard and Volker for their hard work as guest editors of this edition. And I think it's wonderful to see one's work in such a practical um, when to see this is what it looks like what you worked on. So thank you very much for joining us this afternoon and thank you. I know also some of the authors also listened in. Thank you very much, Christo. I saw your message as well. Thank you for all the authors and the hard work on this and may there be some good fruit coming from this edition. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>